This is another lesson in, uh, on Access. Uh, this is the 2010 version. We're once again in design view for we're designing a table and we've already begun to design the table. We've got all these fields in and these types of uh, uh, data that we can put into the fields. I just want to get into a little bit more detail here. Uh, in the last exercise, I mentioned that you cannot use any spaces or characters when naming fields. However, if you want your fields to look good when you go into data sheet view, you can certainly do that. So I do want spaces in here. I want this to look nicer. So I'm going to go back to design view. And you have an area where you can do that. So for last name here, I can change the caption so that it says last space name. It doesn't affect the actual name of the field, but it's just going to look a lot better when people are entering data into your table. So here I would put first name, and for number credits, I would put number of credits. That's credits. And then it's going to ask me to save. Whenever I do work in Design View, you have to save that. So now you'll see up here, I've got spaces. It looks much nicer. I can stretch this so that I can see everything. So you have the caption field here where you can change things. There are other things that you can change in here that I think you should know about. For province, let's say, I can set this up so that it can only be so big. So I can limit the field size here. Instead of 255, I can change it to 2. So then when I went back to data sheet view, it's telling you that it's cut off some of your data because I believe I had typed Ontario in a few things, right? So it's saying that some might be lost. So if I hit yes here, Ontario has been replaced with un. And if I try to type Ontario, I believe it'll stop me. I'm typing T here, and it just won't let me type anything else. So that's limiting me to only entering two things. I can actually go one further here. If I know that all my students live in Ontario, I can make the default value so that it's always Ontario. And I'll have to save this once again. Now, it may not change any of my existing records, but any new records will have to be Ontario. We would spend as much time in here as possible just to make the data entry a lot easier. I've mentioned in other exercises, data entry is long and boring. And the easier that you can make the job, the better it's going to be on the people who have to do the data entry. So we're going to examine a couple of other little things. Date and time is another thing that we can do. So for birth date here, we can choose date and time. And from here, we would choose the type of date and time that we would use. Okay, so we might want to make this as easy as possible once again. So we could make it this way. So now the people will have to type it that way. We can also set it up so that we have a validation rule here so that we can't type in dates prior to, let's say, I don't know, 2010, right? Or, or later than 2010 because we know that they can't possibly be that young and still be in high school. We're not going to get too deep into that, but you can very easily set that up. I believe if you simply just went cannot be has to be smaller than 2010 01 
01. And if you tried to type in a date larger than that, it just wouldn't work. Phone number is another one that I think you need to know about because you can really save a lot of time. So here if we have phone, we would want to text, but now we would have to use this thing called an input mask, which you would definitely want to use. So I've just clicked on the three buttons here, and I'm going to hit yes. And now when you get to this window, you're going to hit phone number and then you're going to go next. And I definitely want it with an input mask. The idea behind this is I don't want to type the brackets or the hyphen. So I'm going to go next once again. And here it's asking, do you want the data with the, the brackets and the hyphen? And that's the whole idea behind this. I definitely do. I don't want my data entry people to have to type that. So then I'll hit next and then finish and then I want to go to data sheet view and I want to try this out. So when I get to phone, you'll see it doesn't matter what we type in, the brackets and the hyphen will automatically show up and that is a huge time saver for anybody doing data entry. So those are just a few key things that you should know uh, when you're creating a table in, in for a database so when you're in design view here try to use whatever one of these that you can to make data entry for the people that much easier we're going to explore a couple of other things in this view in future lessons